The Terminator franchise has seen various types of enemies, Skynet, the central core of the machines. Now this artificial intelligence has designed all sorts of Terminators. The most popular Terminator is the T-800 series. It's been seen in different sources like the movies, video games, comic books, and novels. While most of us know the franchise purely on this design, I thought we could look back into the history of an earlier type of Terminator. Around the time when the war against the machines had begun, Skynet was still designing and creating the ideal type of Terminator for its army. During this phase, the prototype of the T-70 was already produced, but in a limited quantity. This Terminator was the first design to have a humanoid form. It was tall and mobile. It was the basic foot soldier for Skynet at the time. These models were not used in the battlefield, but instead were only used to guard important facilities. This provided Skynet with some type of defense, while it further developed its technology to create better Terminators. As time passed by, the T-70 design became outdated compared to what Skynet had available to them. Despite being able to mass produce the T-70, Skynet had already designed more efficient Terminators. So the T-70 was never used after this period, but its technology was later used by Skynet for the T-400 and the T-900. What made the T-70 less impressive compared to the future models was that it had limited intelligence, it could be set to autonomous mode, and it had no way of learning anything in combat. Also, its lack of a synthetic skin made it easy to spot, so it could not be used as an infiltration unit. Before the war with Skynet had begun, the T-70 was used by Cyberdyne Systems as a way to impress investors and people with military interests. This would lead to Cyberdyne Systems getting financed by outside sources, and this would allow them to improve on their robot technology. As for its other attributes, it stood around 8 feet tall and was equipped with a high-velocity Gatling gun, but could be modified in some way to use something else, such as a light plasma weapon. You might notice that the T-70 does share some similarities with the T-800 in the first Terminator movie. It's possible Cyberdyne Systems reverse-engineered this technology and came up with the T-70 later on. The production date for this model was just before 2004, which fits into the timeline. While the T-70 was barely brought up in any stories, its first appearance was during the T-2 3D theme park attraction. The entire theme park included a pre-show about Cyberdyne's goals and products for the consumer or military use. It was interrupted by a video of Sarah Connor warning the fans that Cyberdyne is actually the enemy, and when it turns on Skynet, it will start a war against the human race. The main show was a short movie which reunited the characters and actors from Terminator 2, and it served as a sequel even though it was short. So that covers some information about the T-70 Terminator. If there's anything you want to add, then put it in the comment section. To see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.